What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be me recommending books set at camp. This is my favorite trope and I've been wanting to do another book recommendations video. I think my last one was when I recommended DCOMs based on books. Um, Disney Plus came out and so I decided that I would pair Disney original movies with books. So that will be up here and down below if you would like to go and watch it after this. I felt that I'm probably not the only one that loves camp stories and it's Girl Scout season. And before this video, I thought, well, why did I not make a video where I recommend books based off of Girl Scout cookies. So if you would like that video, please let me know in the comments. Unfortunately, I couldn't put a twist on this video. Every video I want to put a twist on it, but I just have to work with being in my room. I really wish I was outside in a tent eating some s'mores, but let's just imagine that that's where we are right now as I recommend you these books. I have six books to recommend you. One is middle grade and the rest are young adult. Feel free to comment down below your favorite camp stories if I haven't mentioned them. I'm always looking for new ones because this is my favorite trope. Let's get right into the video. The first book is a middle grade recommendation and this is Two Night Owl from Dogfish by Meg Walitzer and Holly Goldberg Sloan. This is a parent trap inspired book and it follows these two girls who have two single gay dads and the dads meet. It is a enemies to friends kind of story where the two girls hate each other before they've even met and they end up going to this camp to befriend each other because their parents are possibly going to get married and a lot of crazy things happen and they go to a lot of camps. I really enjoyed this. I definitely agree that it is a parent trap retelling. It also is gay and we love that. Um, I really enjoyed this so I highly recommend it. The next book I have to recommend actually inspired this video and this is Unscripted by Nicole Kronzer. I received this through NetGalley for review and it comes out on April 21st. This book follows a 16 year old girl named Zelda who goes to an improv camp for the summer with her brother Will. The improv camp focuses on comedy and this book really tackles the subject of women in comedy and how misogynistic it is and just the things that Zelda had to go through was so annoying. There are trigger warnings for sexual assault and sexual harassment as well as homophobia, so definitely look out for that if you're looking to pick up this book. In my opinion, I would recommend it. I didn't like it at the beginning because there were some problems I had, but overall, I really enjoyed it as a fan of books set at camp. This one was really well done. I really liked the side characters that were really developed and they really helped the main character, but they also had their own personalities. There's a lot of queer representation and I just enjoyed this. It was so different. I've never read a book set at an improv camp before and I didn't know a lot about just the comedy world in general. I really love comedy. I didn't know how cutthroat the comedy scene really was, especially for women, so I did really enjoy this. It was really good. I highly recommend it. The next book, it's a graphic novel and it's also a middle grade. I didn't realize until now, but this is Be Prepared by Vera Broskal. This is a fictional book, but it's also based on her real life experiences about Vera at her first time at Russian summer camp. I absolutely love this book. I recommend it so much. It really captures the camp experience, especially being a kid going to camp for the first time. And I really enjoyed this, so I recommend it if you haven't picked it up. Next book is set at a sports camp, and this is Running With Lions by Julian Winters. This is about a boy named Sebastian who goes to soccer camp for the summer, and he ends up running into his ex-friend, and they had a romance together, and so it's basically a rekindling of that. I really enjoyed the soccer scenes and the queer representation, so if you're looking for that, I highly recommend Running With Lions. The next book is one of my favorite graphic novels, and this is a graphic memoir called Honor Girl by Maggie Thrash. This book is set at a summer camp, and it is about Maggie's experiences at said summer camp, and it's when she explores and comes to terms with her sexuality. It's great, I recommend it, and that's all I have to say. <laughs> 
And the last book I have to recommend you is one of my favorites, and it's definitely underrated. This is The Sound of Us by Julie Hammerly. This book is set during an opera camp, and it follows a girl named Kiki, and she is a fat main character, and there's a lot of body positivity in this. I really love it. Kiki is very introverted, and she spends her time talking to her friends online about said TV shows that she likes. I think a lot of people can relate to this. Who knew that Opera Camp was so cutthroat, but when I read this book, I definitely found that out. The camp is very strict, and someone ends up getting kicked out, and there's just a whole mystery going on, and I really enjoyed this book. It is so underrated. This is very action-packed, but in general, it has great diversity, and I really enjoy it. So those were my six book recommendations for a book set during camp. Feel free to comment your recommendations down below. Thank you for watching. I'm definitely going to do the Girl Scout Cookies video, so hit subscribe and turn on my post notifications so you don't miss a video. I also have a Patreon if you'd like to support me there. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you next time.